Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and welcome back to TechWrite. <clears throat> Alright, so I kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, following up with the iPhone X or iPhone 10, whatever it's supposed to be called. As you can clearly see, I still have the iPhone 7 Plus jet black with the white silicone case still on it and I just can't possibly bring myself to get the 10. For those of you who don't know, and I'm sure all of you do, Apple came out with two different phones this year. They came out with the iPhone 8, which is an iPhone 8 and an 8 Plus, very similar to what they've done the past couple of years. Um, they did offer them in a variety of colors. They offered them um, a couple months before the release of the iPhone 10, which is the other model that they released. How many times am I gonna say released? But one of the things that really stumps me on this iPhone 10 is the price tag. If you go to Apple's website, you can see that the phone is close to anywhere from $1,000 to $1,200, depending if you actually want to get a decent amount of memory on the phone. Only two colors is available in the iPhone 10, which is the silver or white cream color, um, which it looks more cream to me than it does actually white white. This is white. The iPhone 10 is not white. It is a cream color. And the black version, which kind of looks like the jet black, but not as shiny, which actually re really kind of bothers me. But regardless of what color you get, the entire front of the edge-to-edge -edge display is black anyway, so no matter what color you get, if you put a case on it, it really doesn't matter. And another thing that does kind of bother me, and I'm still, like, it doesn't bother me as bad as it originally did, but the notch at the top screen of the phone is just something that I'm not entirely sure about. Since this phone has come out, YouTubers have even started filming in a long wide screen, um, which is extremely high resolution that not a lot of YouTubers are supporting yet. Um, I'm sure eventually that it will go to the standard of that. Some people are still shooting on 1080p 60 frames a second. Um, I've moved to shooting on 4K just very recently, so switching to anything else other than that is something I'm not ready for yet. Another awesome feature that I will say about the iPhone 10, though, is the portrait mode now works on the front-facing camera as well as the back camera. And one of the big reasons that they put that on there is because most people don't want to like take their phone and flip it around completely to try to take a selfie. We've all grown to know and love. Overall, if you've got like a five or maybe even a six, um, then I could see it's worth upgrading to an iPhone 10. Realistically, as a consumer, it's not good to jump from the seven to the 10 unless you just want to shell out the money for it. I've been having an ethical internal debate for months now. So I might end up with one eventually. Right now, I'm just not. I can't. I can't do it. I can't bring myself to spend that much money. Ugh, I'll probably have it in a couple months. But one of the things that I do want to hit about here is the fundraiser that I did start on my channel. I want you guys to please check that out and donate to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. There will be a link to my fundraiser in the description box below. And I also want you guys to put in the comments below um, what do you think about the iPhone 10 compared to other phones like the Note 8, uh, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus? Um, which one do you like better and are you guys going to try to wait until they take the notch off the phone? Just let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to see what you guys think. With that being said, I love all of you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out these videos right here as well and I will see you guys in the next video. I love all of you. Peace.